Hey, Signore Salvatore, it's so nice to see you. Hey, a few more days, please. Uh, my cat is sick. No, no, I, I mean, my dad is sick. You have a family, too. Hi, John. Uh, excuse me, I don't mean the mafia type family. I mean the other kids and cats and stuff. Oh, oh, oh. So you think you so you think you can make So you think you can make it in the world of constructor? Your predecessor was not up to the job. You think you can cope with the demands of the city council and the mob, let alone those annoying tenants? I'll get it in the neck if I don't explain some of the basics to you. Your ever-important cursor is controlled using the left stick. You can push-scroll the map by moving to the sides of the screen. Well, there's no flies on you, are there? You can move the camera view around using the right stick on its own. Why don't you have a look around now? You can zoom right out by holding ZR and pulling down on the right stick. Well done. You're not as daft as you look. You can zoom back in by holding ZR and pushing up on the right stick. This is your HQ, centre of all things important. You'd best protect it like it was one of your own. If this burns down, it'll be curtains for you. But don't worry, we'll dig you a nice grave in the yard. Rather than standing around picking your nose, let's get going by selecting this geezer. Point your cursor at his feet and press the A button. This Ooh, is your hi. foreman. You'll need him to build your property empire. He will instruct his own work team to do all the hard graft for you whilst he files the risk assessments. You can move him around by pointing where you want him to move to and pressing X. Right -o. And here they come. Your workers have finally got out of bed right -o. to do some hard graft. Send your foreman to the beacon we've just placed outside the HQ entrance by pointing and pressing the X button. Right His work team will always tag along. That was a long walk, wasn't it? Every foreman can have a work group of up to five workers. If you have a full group, they'll be far more efficient. So you'd better add two more workers to this guy's team. Select the flashing work team button and make the group up to five workers. Select spare workers on the right to fill the team up to five and then choose the flashing group selection icon to bring them together. Right Great home. job. You're getting the idea with these flashing icons. Now let's exit this screen. Right, enough of all this poncing about. Time to do some building. Let's start by placing your first building site. So let's head on over to the estate agent. The lumber yard will be your first resource, which is handy for a plank like you. 
Get it up and running to supply wood for your future buildings. Try finding a legal position to place the site by moving the cursor footprint around. You can tell which land you own because it's glowing your team colour. Position the cursor over where you want to build. If the cursor is red, then it's not a legal position. The arrows show which direction the gate will face. Would you look at that? A brand spanking new building site. To view the site, press A whilst hovering over the footings. To start working on this building, bring your men onto the site. This can be done by simply clicking on the Call Work Team icon. Alternatively, you could just tell your foreman to walk his sorry feet over there. Watch them build! It's a real delight! If these guys keep up their day job, they'll gain experience and become much more reliable. Congratulations! You have finished your first lumber yard. To restock it, move a work team into the building. The lumber yard will be your source of wood for years to come. Press A whilst hovering over the building foundations or click the new icon that's appeared on the left-hand side of the screen. To restock this resource, call the work team into the building. Now, let's have you stock the building up to 10 units of wood. To speed up wood production, you can call a second team into the building. You've made enough of a racket, but now we've got enough wood to start building our next property. Go to the estate agent to see your new choices. There are now more choices of buildings you can create. Click on the Homes icon to see what's new. You now have access to three low-grade tenant houses. We want you to build a log cabin, which will fit neatly beside your lumber yard. You can change the selected building type by using the D-pad. Press the A button to place site. Well, that one squeezed in nicely. Now you need to call a work team to finish the job. If your teams are busy, click on your foreman using A and move him to the site by pointing and clicking X. Whilst people are inside a building, a flag appears outside. You can click on the base of his brown flag using A to select him. A? Righto. We should have this new house knocked up in no time. Well done. Your first home has been completed and is ready to be rented out for the first time. Building a variety of types of houses will expand your choices in the future. Congratulations on your first tenant house, even if it is a bit... naff. To look inside and choose a tenant, hover your pointer over the base of the building and press A. This place is obviously empty. To put a tenant in this house, click on the Appoint Tenant icon. There are five levels of tenant, from the riffraff to the toffs. I'm afraid you're scraping the bottom of the barrel at this stage. Take this dodgy looking pair. Whilst they have plenty of money, they don't breed quickly enough and they might damage your property. I think it's best we use the other couple. Oi! These slobs will do exactly what we need. They'll breed like rabbits to create extra workers and tenants. 
They've moved in and made themselves at home. Don't you love what they've done with the decor? You can find out what these tenants like and don't like by clicking on their picture. These slobs are the lowest level of tenant that you can get. They're good for breeding quickly, are quite noisy and can cause problems for their neighbours. But as long as you don't annoy them, they can be fairly self-contained and don't expect too much in the way of luxuries. These areas give you information about the house and its tenant. Hover your pointer over each of the areas to find out more info. Use the D-pad to move easily between icons. Currently, these guys are paying rents, but we need to expand our empire and breed more workers. Click on the worker icon to have them start breeding a worker instead. There you go, a bundle of joys on its way. This display shows you how long before your worker will report for duty at your HQ. To make your tenants a bit more active in the bedroom and deliver your children quicker, I suggest you upgrade their bedroom. Click on the Redecorate Rooms button. There are four rooms in this gaff. Each of these rooms has a different benefit, such as increasing life expectancy, relieving stress, reducing repairs and increasing birth rate, which is what we need right now. Please select the bedroom. What a dump! There are several stages for each room that must be better than this. Select upgrade room to start redecorating. You will need to call a work team inside the building to complete the upgrade. Marvellous! Your team has completed the new bedroom. Doesn't that look better? Hopefully it'll have the desired effect. Let's go back to the main screen and see how they are getting on. You will notice that the birth rate has improved. The faster the dial goes round, the quicker the next baby will appear. Just like in real life. They do slow down as they produce more children, but the happier they are, the quicker they breed, and more rent they are willing to pay. Everyone wants a nice garden to go with their house, so let's start by improving the fence. At the moment, you only have a limited selection of fences available. This tenant particularly likes the privet hedge, of course. Please select and purchase it. You need to get those lazy workers off their tea break and out into the yard to do some more work. Please call them back out. Each fence has a different defensive ability as well as being aesthetically pleasing for your tenants. That looks much better and will keep your tenant happy. Now let's leave the house and have a look around. You can quickly see what each house is producing. Rent, workers or more tenants, as shown by the floating icon above the house. If something else is wrong, it will be shown there instead. Now we need to teach you how to look after your estates. Let's introduce you to one of our other characters, the Repairman. Please select this fine gentleman over here. Your right, repairman's a right spanner. If you switch on auto repair, he will circle around all of your buildings on his current estate, repairing them one after another for you. Tidy. 
Alternatively, you can manually prioritise his work by moving him inside a particular building. Once the property is in immaculate condition, he will move on to his next job. Hello, hello. What's going on here? This dude looks like he's up to no good. Someone has stolen some resources from your site on Katie Swallow's estate. It might not be too late to catch him and get them back. Hello? Too late! He's disappeared down your tube station and he seems to have stolen all your wood. You'll need to restock that place. Get one of your teams back inside your lumber yard. Righto. <coughs> Looks like something is kicking off in here. Let's have a look inside the house. Some people are never happy. They've sent a complaint letter to the council. Click on their heads to see what's wrong. Oi! Your factory's been going day and night. We can't stand the noise no more. Close it down for a bit or give us some double glazing. They are obviously not happy living next to a loud factory. Better keep them sweet by getting your work team out of there. Who's that? Righto. That was easy to deal with. They're not always as simple as that. However much you have, it's never enough. I think you need to buy some extra land for your next building project. Please select the world map icon. Use the D-pad to browse through the available estates or click on them directly. The larger the estate, the more expensive it will be. Please select the Brompton estate. Now, buy the estate by clicking on the Buy Estate icon. Now we've got some more land, you can finally build your next home. Go back into your estate agent and see what's available. Now it's time to create another of the tenant homes. Once you have created at least one of each, it will unlock more variety. Please select a simple lodge this time. Right, you can now place this lodge anywhere on your new estate. You will see that you can orientate the house by moving it closer to one side than another. Or you can cycle through the directions by pressing X. Once happy with the position, press A to place it. Now get those work teams on site to finish the building off. Righto. Who's that? Righto. Now, you need to put a tenant in this new lodge. Please use the slob tenants again, like before. Oi! Each tenant has a certain life expectancy. You have a limited number of tenants, so you must breed more so they will be ready for when you need them later in the game. Please instruct your new tenants to breed a level one 
10. Well done. Now to speed up the breeding process, you should improve their bedroom like last time. Now, please improve their fence to keep them happy. A picket fence would look very nice. OK, if you are ready to move on, then we need to build the final low-grade property. A Soweto hut. Once you do this, it will unlock the next resource, a cement factory. Please select the estate agent. A larger garden will please your tenant more and make it easier to decorate the garden with objects. You can push out the edges of the plot by holding ZR and pressing the directional buttons. Once happy with the location of your Soweto hut, place it by pressing A. Now, get one of your work teams on site to finish this building off. Righto. Hello? Righto. Due to the high quality of your shacks, the council surveyor is going to let you build some proper houses after you've built the cement yard. This house now needs a tenant who will start paying us rent. We have a business to run and we need to make money. Please select the greaser tenants. Hello. It is possible to force tenants to pay more rent. Doing this will make them less happy, which may cause you problems, so be careful. Now, let's push their rent up by at least 25%. To make sure you keep track of what's going on in the world when inside a building, you can toggle the radar on off by pressing the R button. Have a go before you exit the house. To look after these new houses, please select your other repairman. Move him to the Brompton estate and set him auto repairing. Alright, okay, calm down. All right. I think it's time to buy another larger estate to give you room to expand your empire. Please buy the Beaverbrook estate on the world map screen. After building all the level one tenant houses, you can now build a cement factory on your new plot of land. Select the cement factory via the estate agent and build this now. Now it's time to finish the building off. Get one of your work teams on site and start building. Righto. You don't have enough resources to finish the building. You will need to send a work team back to the resource to restock it before work continues.
right -o. What do you want? Tea break. Who's there? Right -o. Right out. The cement works has been finished and is now up and running. Now start some real buildings. We ought to get another one of them repairmen circling this estate, but we don't have any spare. Here's how to knock out new ones in your HQ. If you click on the HQ icon in the top left using the X button, it will scroll the map to its location. Alternatively, using the A button will take you straight inside. This is your HQ screen, which allows you to monitor how many people and tenants you currently have or are in production. In here, you can also convert workers into other characters. Convert three spare workers into a repairman by clicking the icon. Now, set this new repairman to auto repair on the Beaverbrook estate. We now need a gadget factory to start manufacturing products to keep your tenants happy. Select the gadget factory and place it on your new estate. Now get one of your work teams on site to finish this building off. Hello? Right -o. What are you doing? You don't have enough resources to finish the building. You will need to send a work team back to the resource to restock it before work continues. Who are they? Right -o. I've told you what to do. You don't have enough resources to finish the building. You will need to send a work team back to the resource to restock it before work continues. Uh, 
Your factory has been completed, allowing houses and gardens to start being improved. Gadgets for houses, such as computers, to create the next level of tenants will soon be available. The gadget factory can be accessed by either clicking on its footprint or by clicking on the gadget factory icon on the left. Welcome to your gadget factory. Here you can build many items to enhance the inside and outside of your houses. Planting trees in your tenants' gardens will give them the shade they need to dodge the sun's rays. It'll stop them complaining too. Select the trees icon and then click again to add it to the queue. The figure in the bottom right corner shows the number waiting to be produced. You will need to call a work team into the building to complete the production. It's a shame money doesn't grow on trees that quickly. Now that they're in stock, you can choose where to place them by clicking the Deliver icon. Please put two trees in a single garden. Press A to place a marker and a delivery man will bring it to the site shortly. Just make sure it is in a legal position in the garden. Once you have placed all the objects that you wish to, press B to exit the mode. Oh yes, I can smell their green fingers from here. Now return to the gadget factory to see what else will improve your tenants' lives. More gadgets are now available. The Okikoki 2000 is a state-of-the-art personal computer which will enrich child education. Build lots of computers so we can start producing better tenants. Now let's get one of these delivered to your posh Soweto hut. Select the Deliver button to have your delivery guy personally transport it. Target the Soweto hut and press X to begin the delivery. Plug and play. Let's go inside and check the gadget screen to see if they've turned it on correctly. Oh, my! You can really see the 256 colours in all their glory. Gadgets can also be collected by the tenant himself to avoid waiting for a delivery. Now, with the computer installed, this property is able to produce next level tenants. Please select the level 2 tenant birth type. This level 2 tenant will be the perfect choice for our state-of-the-art bungalow. So let's go build one whilst we wait for the whippersnapper to mature. Oh, I've always wanted a bungalow. Get your work team on site to build it. Who's that? Right ho. Production has halted. An enemy spy has wandered on sight. We need to get rid of him as soon as possible. Your workers can attack any enemy character. Select one of your workers and then hover over Ooh, the enemy eh? and press X right to on. attack. Alternatively, you can select multiple characters by lassoing them. Kill. Kill. 
Good job. Now to just finish off the building work. Now, time to get an appropriate tenant for this little box. Select either of the level two tenants, punks or students. The choice is yours. Listen, you. Hey. Listen, you. These guys will happily pay their rent every month. But there are quicker ways of making money. Let's step outside for a chat. Things in Constructor aren't always above board. A good way of making money is to steal someone else's hard-earned assets and then sell them quickly before someone comes knocking. To take over a property, first select one of your foremen. Now, take your hey? foreman and his team to the beacon outside the gate of the enemy house by hovering over the beacon and pressing X. Righto. Target your foreman at this house by hovering over the footprint and pressing X. Righto. Once he has demolished the entire fence, the house will be yours. Oh dear! Mario, the enemy's cousin, happens to be in town and he doesn't look happy. I think you might be saying hello to his little friend shortly. I walked you into that one, I'm afraid. It seems it's not always that easy. Hopefully they can put it back together. Luckily these foremen are a bit like cats, although without nine lives. We're obviously going to need some underhand tactics of our own. Time to introduce you to the undesirable. We now have access to the hippie commune, home of the half-wit. Let's get one of those knocked up quick smart. <laughs> 